name is Andrew Bradley and uh, I am a pilot. I'm also the director of business development for Black and Helicopters. We do adventure tourism. Uh, we specialize in power utility work. Uh, we fight forest fires, forestry, mining, uh, and exploration. We also do a bunch of oil and gas. You know, client demands now are becoming a little more prevalent than they have in the past. So we're, we're navigating a different world when it comes to audits, service requirements, aircraft requirements, um, even technology requirements. So uh, the challenges are real, they're very present, and we're just trying to stay as dynamic as we can. As they're getting more educated, we're finding that these requirements are likely going to be the norm. Talking about the large oil and gas companies that have a really robust safety SMS system, and that's what they want to see with their suppliers. One of the challenges for us from an operational standpoint comes in the power line utility sector, where we specialize in, in hoisting, in class D fixed line, uh, external platform work, um, very precision long line work. The challenges there for us become, number one, another human factor, but just making sure that everything is functioning as it should, because it's putting you in these flight regimes that uh, in dead man's curve, or the HV curve, if you will, um, where you need to be on your game, uh, not only from a, an operational standpoint, but also the maintenance standpoint. You've been in this industry long enough uh, you've had bearings fail, uh, not too catastrophic, but you get making metal and it makes more metal. Uh, there's been AOG scenarios where you, you wish you knew this was going to happen. Uh, so I think any operator in Canada, or the US or globally for that matter, can attest to the fact that if you had the information or for, forewarned, you wouldn't have those scenarios. GPMS Hums is different in the fact that it is going to change the way that we operate. It's going to change the way that we forecast. It's going to change the way that we save our money. Hi, my name is Aaron Trimble. I work for Black Home Helicopters as a Director of Maintenance. The most exciting part, I think, would be having up-to-date live data that we can use. So instead of relying just on the pilot feel, of saying that aircraft is rough, being able to actually pinpoint that before that happens, because usually it's rough before a pilot feels it. So it'd be nice to be able to have actual up-to-date up data um, that we can actually react to and um, get it balanced earlier than later and actually maybe save parts from being damaged. For supply chain, being able to source parts before we even need them, being able to see that a problem's coming and then being able to plan ahead instead of having the problem show up and being reactive to the problem, we can be proactive to the problem. I think AMEs these days are way more switched on when it comes to the technical side. Um, us older guys here, we're used to the old school stuff, but I think the new guys are into the technology and would really benefit from being able to see live data coming in about what the systems are doing and the vibration levels of our systems and being able to actually proactively like solve the issues before they become a problem. Foremost, it's safety. Um, I think this system will actually raise the level of safety throughout our whole uh, fleet. Being able to track parts and their uh, vibrations and being able to see problems before they even occur and being proactive instead of reactive to these problems is a, is a big win for us. We're really impressed with the technology and the system and um, it's also very light. Strategically see what's happening within the aircraft over a period of time trending what's happening and when we're putting our, our employees in some of these areas and hostile austere terrain uh, knowing what is possible when it comes to homes is I think it's going to be fantastic.